Google Drive is a tool that is actually relatively new. They kind of took what they used to call Google Docs, and they now call it Google Drive. And instead of just being about creating documents, it's about storing and sharing and creating and a lot of interaction. So one of the things I recommend to anybody who's on the Google platform is to download Google Drive onto your computer. And then what you will do when you do that, and I, create, I actually have a link here for the steps that you can go through to do that. So if you're in this slideshow, you can actually just click that link and it'll take you to my steps for um, installing Google Drive. If you install Google Drive, it actually ends up being just a folder on your desktop like any other folder that you can put stuff in. But when you put stuff in that folder, it syncs automatically to your Google account. So it, it creates a backup of everything because it's in the cloud and it's on your computer. It creates an ability to share things directly from your computer. Um, there's a lot of... Can we create folders inside that folder? Yep. And then that will show up yeah, the Absolutely. Um, I also, I don't know if we're going to use it, but I have this other link if you're in the slideshow where you can go in and type up questions. It's a document that I started that's just for today uh, so that you can leave your questions there and I'll try to answer them um, if you don't want to raise your hand. <laughs> So when you're in Google Docs, there's or Google Drive. You can create by clicking on the Create button. And these are all the types of documents you can create. So again, I'm just doing an overview now. We'll go back and do some demonstration in a little bit. Uh, but this ability to create a document, a presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, which is interactive. You can get feedback, um, a drawing which I don't use a lot, but some people use a ton. It's easy to copy and paste and create your own images out of. And then there's even more things that you can add to it. But these are the nice, basic starting documents. Yes? How did you get to that? Where are you on this? Yeah. We're trying to what figure that mean? out. How did you get to that? Oh, if you click, on, if you're in Drive, yeah. and you click on the Create button over on the left-hand side, you'll see. Oh, got it, okay. got it. You it is helpful if you log in. Uh, you won't be able to access any of the Google features if you're not logged in. So this is what I use Google Drive for in general. Um, creating and storing Google Docs. When our school system switched over to Google Docs about three years ago, I gave up Microsoft Office. I don't create anything in Microsoft Office. I create everything in the cloud on Google Drive because then I have access to it everywhere I go automatically. And it just makes my life much easier. It's the search features, like I can do a search right in my Google Drive for a keyword and it searches the content of every document I have in my entire drive. So if I want to look up, you know, did I ever write a letter of recommendation for you know, Bob McDaniel, I can look that up and it'll bring it up. Um, uploading documents. Now what I tend to do is I took all the stuff that I had and slowly over time, not all at once, but slowly, whenever I needed a document, I would upload it into my Google account, convert it into a Google document, and that way I slowly took stuff I already had and brought it into the system. So I wasn't trying to do it all at once. And I was able to, by doing it slowly, take advantage of the conversion, which isn't perfect. Like when you convert something, it messes up the formatting. Um, you do have some issues depending on how complex your formatting is. Um, but it makes my life much easier now because everything I used to have on hard drives, on you know, disks, on plug-in USB thumb drives, it's all in one place. And I don't have to think about, oh, where did I keep that document? Um, uploading images, you can store images right in Google Drive if you want. There's also a program for uploading images, uh, separate. And then what I think is really the crux of this tool 
is the sharing folders or files. And that sharing of folders or files is going to be beneficial to you as a community and to your students. Um, this, it's going to increase the collaboration that can be accomplished between your students in documents that they're sharing.